this series touches upon so many universal social and political issues while also focusing on it, the powers effects on the individuals. What are some of the conversations you're hoping this series will encourage? Mm. Kind of what if conversation, I think. I think um, I want men and women and all genders to discuss it together. You know, you want there to be this conversation about like, actually how does the world work and how is it constructed and what can we do to look at how it could be better constructed? You know, in recent years with Roe versus Wade and with everything that's going on in Iran and Afghanistan, and, you know, it feels like there's been this backlash generally. Um, and um, that's really frightening. And for people to be entertained by this and be drawn in by the characters, but then also think about what would a world look like where actually there wasn't people scared to walk through the park alone at night and it and it didn't feel so frightening to be a woman I think would be amazing to have for that conversation to be started but in a wish fulfilling way um that would be great and is there one person that beside yourself that you would give this gift to or this power to my mom <laughs> oh why is that um because I think her life would have genuinely been different. And she's so amazing already. She's so empowered already. She doesn't need it. But I just think, you know, she she was she was pregnant in the 60s and got thrown out of university. And she genuinely wasn't allowed to finish her degree because she was pregnant. Even though my grandfather went, uh, my great grandfather went and said, um, I will, uh, the, my grandfather said, I will look after, I will look after the baby while she's at lectures. I will come to, and they still wouldn't let her. You know, how different would her life have been, I think? Um, and she would have done kick-ass things with it because she's pretty kick-ass. So, uh. <laughs> I think it would be to every every girl who needs it mm -hmm. and actually every boy who needs it, honestly. It's about, I think that the point about this is, yes, the story examines this through a, a gender lens to some degree, but it'll, it is about power. And so it's the powerless who need this. It's not just individuals ultimately anybody who doesn't have power which of which there are far too many people in our world and the inequality and the injustice so i think anyone who needs it and how about you who would you, who would you as well oh god i can think of so many people that i wouldn't want to get <laughs> to i think you know it's that classic saying that with with great power comes great responsibility right i think that it, it's very difficult for somebody to have something like this and use it entirely benevolently. And I think that's what's exciting mm. about the show too, right? While I would love all people who aren't safe to be able to feel safe in the world, mm. I also would be terrified mm. of a world where people who had had really difficult lives and traumas were walking around with something inside of them that could randomly kill somebody on the street whenever mm -hmm. they wanted to. Um, and sometimes not even intentionally, because sometimes it comes just, you know, from, from a place of anger and a place of emotion. And, and some people don't know how to control it. Like one of our characters, Joss, doesn't control it very well. And she does some, some unintentional, terrible things. So honestly, um, I, I love imagining a world where people can be safe, but I am terrified of a world where everyone is armed. <laughs> Yeah. Well, those are three great and responsible answers. So thank you so much for your time and, and best of luck with the series. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much.